Bowtie and the Kite Kobold Part 2 The Kite Kobold holds Bowtie prisoner in his cave, ordering her to make bows for all his kites. At last poor Bowtie fell asleep, worn out from all her efforts. She dreamed of her friends back at Dream Castle and thought that she heard someone calling to her. Who is it? What do you want? she murmured, rubbing her eyes sleepily. I'm Sugarpuff, the Sugar Plum Fairy. I've come to help you. Rab told us what had happened. The doors and windows are locked, said Bowtie. Even you couldn't get through these, and you are tiny. Take the sugar plums and offer them to Cobb when he returns, said the fairy. Take one at a time. Bowtie had a large dish of sugar plums just as they heard the kite kobold returning. Offer him the plums, said the fairy. Have you only finished two kites, sneered the kobold. Then you will go hungry. No oats for you, Bowtie. I'm having sugar plums for breakfast, retorted Bowtie. Where did you get those? asked the kobold in surprise. I like sugar plums. Give them to me, ordered the kobold crossly. You can have these oats. You shouldn't eat the plums like that, said Bowtie. They're very special, full of sugar and... I shall eat as many sugar plums as I like, snapped Cobb. Oh, oh, my tooth, it's hurting. It's all the... Serves you right. Now you will have to go and see the tooth fairy, said Bowtie. She'll make your tooth better. I hope she has lots of tooth tincture, cried the kobold. My kite will fly me there. And off he went. He's left the door open in his hurry, laughed Bowtie. I'm free. I'll show you the way home, said the fairy. As they made their way home, Bowtie and Sugarpuff saw Cobb disappearing into the distance, holding tightly to his kite. Thank you for helping me, said Bowtie. Baby Ribbon once helped me to find flowers for a special party. One good turn deserves another, said Sugarpuff.